Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Discworld. Now, in our previous playthrough we actually ended this chapter. I'm going back so that way you guys can see that if you missed it. We got all of the things we needed and it's time to confront the dragon. What are you lot doing here? I don't think I got tired of waiting. Nothing. Yes, you are. You're all here waiting for something. Programs, get your souvenir programs. Only one penny each and I'm cutting my own throat. What's that lady doing lashed to that rock? <laughs> um, reserved seating. I thought you said nothing was going on. Well, it isn't. But if anything does happen, then she's got a front row seat. Help! She said help. No, she didn't. She said whelp. She's calling for puppies. Give me one of those damn programs. Does make sense to have a sacrifice, considering... Opening act, Grand Fanfare and Dancing Girls. The amazing Bendable Sisters will perform amusing novelty acts. Mm, should be worth <laughs> seeing. Followed by, Lady Ramkin will be offered as a sacrifice to appease the mighty dragon. Main attraction, Hero Roast. Sausage sizzle to follow, if wet, in the town hall. <laughs> Help! Don't worry. We're pretty certain a hero's going to turn up. Where? When? Are you sure? Oh, there's no stopping the buggers. That's what we're here for. And if it doesn't it's work me, out, David. there's always the sausages. Well, now that dragon can meet its doom at last. Little did it expect that it would meet up with a true hero. Who? A hero? Who? Me. So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I Hell finally yeah. have the power. I'm a hero at last. <laughs> Amulet on. T uh, birthmark tattoo on. <laughs> Mustache on. Soot or camo on. A sword. And he has a spell in his own mind. I still think it's going to be episode. a million to one against you killing it. Never! What can a dragon possibly have to match my wits? My cunning, Fire, my majestic strength, pointy hat. Why, flying. that creature's nothing but a lizard with big ideas. Just a scaly, bloated, cowardly... Ahem. It's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Dark Sally's game reminds me of a series called Goblins. It was him. I said I'd leave you until last. Go for it, lad. Hit it in the vulnerables. Shush. Look, Mr. Dragon, why don't we just come to some sort of agreement? I mean, I am a hero. Heroes win. Well-known fact. On the other hand, well -known in a sensible universe, the actual chances of my harming you are about... A million to one? Yes, that's it. So, in the interests of promoting mutually beneficial relations, why don't you push off and bother another city? Thank you very much. No hard feelings. Case dismissed. You feel this is the best course of action for the overall promotion of positive experience, which is to say, enjoyment and well-being? Exactly. Yes. Because if the day ends with one of us dead, then the negative that is experience of the loser will cancel out the positive experience of the victor. Yes, yes, that's it exactly. Hmm. Yes. I think I'm going to eat you anyway. Why? Was it something I said? No. It's just that I hate philosophers. Sorry. It's not well, wrong, in that though. case, take this. Stercus Morturus Sum. Stercus. Morturus sum. Stercus Morturus sum. <laughs> Missed me by that much. Hit those balls as well, I guess. <laughs> Triple X looking. Pure luck. No. How did he survive that? Well, that was one chance in a million. Million of one odds. Right, right, that's it. I've had enough of you. What happened to the philosophy? I'll give you something to think about. I'll be here. And I'll be back. <laughs> that wasn't a bad line. 
That was so badly said. Alrighty, and so that was the end of Act 3 as we headed into Act 4. We're going to have to figure out how to take him out. And again, I think it has to do with that other dragon. Possibly blowing him up, love, something. But we need Bramkin's key. I'm going to save this real quick now that I'm actually on the other side. Uh, Oct. Four. <laughs> there we go. And let's head back in, because I don't want to die right away. Uh, hey, y'all. Uh, just chill back for a minute. A great, churning, gibbering mass of humanity. Well... Close enough to humanity, not to excite interest from anyone except a biologist. That doesn't work. Um, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba. There's a secret. I wonder if it's in the end of the scheme. Let me double check that real quick. I'll be right back. As I'm reading, I'm looking at a secret that supposedly would work. I don't know if it were functions in PC. It might only work in PlayStation. But action... It goes, and this might be for if you're playing this on PlayStation, so just so you'll know. You, it should be if you action the first character's left that eye. That doesn't work. Then his right that eye. That doesn't work. Action the second character's left eye. That doesn't work. Then right eye. That doesn't work. Let's have a far left of the screen, the D letter. Of crowd disappears when the cursor is on the hot spot. Nope. Okay. Interesting. So it's actually not in this version. I have to get a PlayStation 1, and I can probably find the PlayStation version of this and a file for it. Yeah, because the word crowd just doesn't disappear. That's all still part of it. Strange. Anyway, beyond all that, I will make that an extra thing that'll be at the end of this for anybody who's interested in checking it out. I will hunt down the PlayStation 1 and hopefully a file that'll take me to Act 4, so that way I can skip playing this entire game again on the PlayStation. Um, and then we'll see the secret. So if you're interested in the secret of, uh, of Discworld, that'll be at the end of this video. After we're all done. In the meantime, I need to get Nanny Og's... Or, uh, Nanny Og, that's Nanny Og. I need to get uh, Lady Ramekin's key. It should be. Yep, there it is. Let me just grab that. Yep, I'm just gonna fill you up real good before I... Uh, <laughs> before they sacrifice it to the fucking dragon. <laughs> Now, I gotta find a place to get, uh, I'm gonna get this dragon, I've gotta get him all hot and bothered up inside, I think that was what I need to do. Uh, we do have firecrackers, but let me go and get the dragon real quick. Okay, luggage, I need the key. And there we go. All this time I was trying to sneak in there, and it turns out that wasn't necessary. I was just trying incredibly hard for it. Ew. Can I die? They didn't seem to do anything. Can I absorb the molten pile? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Good grief, it's sizzling! Huh. Can I have some of it? That doesn't work. I'll just keep on going then. Come here, Mambo. A mambo. He's got him like a weapon. Yeah. yeah, I need to fill him with fire. But we got him. An M16, it says. All right. I have firecrackers, so let's see if we can put that in them. Now this is a real weapon. All it needs is some ammunition. We'll put some of these in it.
A little bit better, I think. Yeah. Yep, they're gone. So he's got now, those in there. this is a real weapon. All it needs is some ammunition. Okay. Well, that wasn't enough because it's still saying it's not ready. So let's go get some fire. Last place I remember seeing fire was at the mine. Off the top of my head, there's probably a bunch of places I could go to, but the last place I saw that said hot cold, should I say, was the mine. Could you please? Thank you. And so we're going to head to the mine real quick. So I'm here over at the uh, Smith's location. And that hot doesn't coals, work. That's what I remember seeing and I can use if my freaking luggage would get here already. Thank you. Man, you know, it's useful having that, but uh, man, that thing takes forever to move around. There we go. Stuffing full of hot coals. <laughs> Maybe matches? The only other thing I can think of. That doesn't work. Well, either way, let's get back to town. I'll just grab some more fireworks. Maybe I need to light one up again. I took one off, but I didn't light it. I put the whole batch of fireworks in there. So, and that's the only other type of explosive we've got. So, let's get back to town. We'll have to pass through the gate anyway. Grab some more from the, uh, from the guards. And then, uh... Light her up. I already have one of those. Do you? It seems like you don't. Crackers? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Gunpowder? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Alright. I'm gonna just take him out and feed him some of those. That doesn't. He says I already have some. I don't see any though. Did I put him back on himself? No. Okay. I already have one. Hope I didn't glitch it out. Either way, let us get back to the square. I think we just might be good to go. And this time, we'll give the dragon what for, or M16. <laughs> Get in there. Come on. Oh. Where's the dragon? Um, okay. Right. Maybe I don't have enough fire. Let's collect some more fire. There's some that you can find in the palace. In the dungeon, there was braziers. They talk braziers. They talked about. I believe they were in the dungeon. Ah! Hot coals. Does again. That's brutal. There you go, some more. There you go. I think he's ready now. Now we're cooking. And so will anybody who gets in our way. Nice. Huh, I guess I just needed some more. I can give him even more, because I'm pretty sure... Nanny Og. This place is <laughs> intense. The actors went. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We're back, so it must be done. Ready to go. Not you again. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? Okay. Aha! Hasta la mista! Eat hot smoking death, reptilian trash! Is that a swamp dragon in your hands? Or are you just pleased to see me? This is an M16, <laughs> the world's most powerful swamp dragon. It can blow your head a clean off. A mambo or you mambo ask like Rambo. One question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? It's like every little joke they could put in there. Yeah, hiss at that bad joke.
Uh oh, ooh, he's got the hots. <laughs> See, I don't think she's interested. I know how to fix that. We got to go. Oops. Yes, there we go. Give us a pie. <laughs> we pied the dragon, but that, that pie was that love custom. Oh my, my, my. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, so that's why it doesn't have any vulnerables. It's a girl. A female on heat, too. You couldn't tell they by the voice. They always get stroppier when they're feeling a little, you know, overheated. Good grief. By mother's hand warmers. Oh, this clicky is going to make me a fortune. It's hardly suitable for public viewing. Well, you go <laughs> up there and tell them. Anyway, it has artistic integrity. He's got an interesting seductive technique. Lots of energy, anyway. And they do Pub a lot of anyone? Why not? There you go. The end. Huh. It ended in dragon man. Whoop! Oh, Death is like nope. Uh, the horse threw a shoe. I had to see about a shipwreck. Uh, my side went blunt. Oh, there was a terrible earthquake. The map got lost. My robe didn't come back from the cleavings. There was a sudden plague. It's not my fault. <laughs> I think it's because you were on vacation, buddy. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Death was just a little late for everything. So there you go. That was uh, Discworld. I let these credits roll to give proper credit to the people that were in this. And then, right after this is over, I will give you guys the secret uh, that was placed into the PlayStation 1 version of this game. This game was on the PSX and the PC and a bunch of other things, so... And, yeah. Apparently, that's the only source to be able to find it. But there's a series of clicks that you can do, or button presses you can do on the screen uh, in the large crowd that can unlock a audio file... That's not available otherwise. There we go. Let's pause that up. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. That was Discworld 1. There's two other games that came in this series. The second one and, uh, and Noir. If you guys are interested in those, let me know. And if not, I'll eventually get to them. Uh, but, yeah. I've got them in there in my collection. So, hope you enjoyed. And now, on to the secret uh, uh, Easter egg. I hunted around the internet for quite a while, and apparently it's not the same as it used to be for GameFAQs, where they would have save files for everything. You can actually find them, but unfortunately I was not unable, I was unable to find it here. So, this guy's site, Jay Minchin, he only really has the one video that's on here, uh, and he just was one of the people who figured it out or put it together. It kind of looks like he's doing it through ScumVM. I don't think it actually is. It's more than likely. He states in his description that it functions through the PlayStation version. So, and it gives the same thing. Trigger the left eye and the right eye, the uh, second character's left eye and right eye. The characters they're referring to are the people that don't belong in this game. Uh, the one with the glasses here and this lady here who are not characters you saw before. So I'm going to go ahead and let this video play, giving full credit, and I'll have the link in the description for j.minson. Uh, and you can see how or what it was going to be. Full screen. A little cut off on the edges, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Not losing anything major. And you double click in there. Double click in that eye. And then he's looking for a pixel that says fascinating. And there it is. I want to be the first person in a game to say fuck. And there you go.
So there you go. That is, uh, that's a little secret that goes in there. I hope you guys enjoyed Discworld. And as I said, the original ending of this, then, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out J.Mention. He's not really trying to do much on there, but you can still give him some likes for the fact that he's pretty much the only person that's actually put that up without a bunch of documentary stuff to go along with it. So it's interesting. Uh, and I think it's actually played a part of essentially in the second one, which I can get into another day. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And if you did, I'll we'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Oh, hey, I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, you can see another one over here on the right hand side. And of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.